Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about a concurrent workflow. So the definition is a concurrent workflow is a workflow that can run as a multiple instance concurrently. A workflow instance is a representation of a workflow. When you configure a concurrent workflow, you enable the integration service to run uh, one instance of the workflow multiple times concurrently. Or you define the unique instance of the workflow that run uh, concurrently. So two types of work, uh, uh, concurrent workflow. One is allow concurrent workflow with the same instance name and uh, second configure unique uh, workflow instance to run concurrently let's see the example of concurrent workflow uh, so let's create one mapping Give it your mapping name m underscore or con current underscore wf underscore example. Oh, now let's uh, drag or uh, source or uh, table into mapping so i'm going to take employees as my source table and or uh, drag or uh, target table into the mapping Uh, so let's create a parameter file or oh, sorry parameter or oh, data type or oh, should be integer so add here or oh, give the parameter name or oh, dpt or oh, team or oh, second or dpt 20 and for third parameter give the name dpt 30 now change the type of parameter variable to parameter and uh, click on ok also uh, let's take one drop to transformation and drag all attributes of source qualifier into router transformation and add here create three group give the group uh, name or uh, dpt 10 or uh, second or uh, group name or uh, dpt 20 and the group name or uh, dpt30 now give the group filter condition for each group so first to uh, go to port add here department id equal to uh, variable port mapping parameter double dollar dpt or 10 and for dpt20 group name add here do the same or uh, port or uh, department id equal to a uh, variable or uh, tab and after double dollar dpt20 
again do the same department underscore id equal to variable term mapping parameters at your use double dot dpt 30. So output group or dpt or 10 or drag into hr1 or target table or dpt dpt20 hr2 or target table and dpt30 or drag into hr3 target table And now let's uh, save the uh, mapping. Mapping is valid. Now let's create a uh, uh, parameter file. So I'm going to create a parameter file or C drive informatica folder 9.5.1 folder in info underscore share folder. So inside I'm going to create parameter file. So let's or so I will give the name of parameter file or P A R A para underscore file. So I tell or So our folder name is or dw underscore dev or dot. So next I have to write to our session name. So let's create the session and workflow. So my session name is underscore m underscore concurrent underscore dev underscore example. Our workflow or created a status or successful okay. now or click on workflow manager and uh, my workflow name or wf and concurrent wf example drag into workflow designer So let's copy the session name and paste it into a notepad and uh, close the bracket. So first uh, parameter file uh, is a double dollar dpt10. Copy the name and uh, paste it into notepad so I will give the value 10 for second parameter or double dollar dpt or 20 give the value 20 And for third parameter, double dollar dpt dpt 30, give the value 30. Now save the uh, file. Save the mapping. There is no any changes detected. Also click on mapping tabs. And at here, change the target load tab to bulk to normal and enable truncate target table option. Now click apply and OK. Save the workflow. Workflow is valid. So now click on workflow or tab and after edit option so at here 
uh, in general tab inside uh, if you enable or uh, configure execute concurrent execution so by default that is disabled so if you uh, check the enable option so uh, button configure concurrent execution uh, active so at here or uh, two types of uh, configure workflow run instance first is allow concurrent run with the same instance name and uh, second option allow concurrent run only with unique instance name so i'm going to select first option so let's create to uh, add a uh, button uh, add symbol and uh, add the instance so i have to give the meaningful name or uh, dpt or uh, 10 and uh, second instance name dpt 20 and the third instance name or uh, dpt 30 and add here a uh, parameter file name uh, let's give so first to uh, copy the location uh, where is the parameter file and uh, paste it uh, the parameter file and uh, next uh, copy the parameter file name and paste uh, there so my parameter file name is uh, text type so give the extension or uh, dot txt do the same things uh, for instance name or uh, dpt20 and for dpt30 now click ok so i created at here three instance and now uh, save the workflow workflow is valid and uh, inside of workflow designer or uh, right click there and click after uh, start workflow advance so right here uh, choose integration service operating system profile so there is option uh, integration service you can choose or operating system that is uh, disabled right here and now next to uh, choose workflow run instance so if the workflow is enabled the concurrent execution select the workflow instance to run so there is a two checkbox one is select on and uh, second clear all so now i am going to uh, use uh, first option select on and now click on ok so look at the uh, dpt10 workflow is running after 20 and 30 so workflow is running concurrently hr1 table one record get loaded hr2 two record get loaded hr3 six records get loaded so if you click uh, so I tell uh, this is first instance so I tell uh, workflow run ID that's created 130 and for uh, dpt20 instance uh, workflow ID created 132 
and for uh, dbd30 uh, workflow id created 131 also right here um, the run id is the number that identifies workflow instance that has run so if, if you run so uh, again our workflow concurrently so every time so run id created different so first is dpt10 Uh, run ID 133 or uh, dpt30 134 and uh, dpt20 135 so every uh, times a uh, workflow run ID or uh, different so this is the concurrent workflow so one time I'm going to repeat the definition. A concurrent workflow is a workflow that can or run multiple instance concurrently. So at here, a multiple instance I run concurrently. At the same time, I run one workflow with a different instance name concurrently. And a workflow instance instance is a representation of workflow. So instance, workflow instance, representation of workflow. When you configure a concurrent workflow, you enable the integration service, run one instance workflow multiple times concurrently. Or you define a unique instance to the workflow that run concurrently. So this is the definition of concurrent workflow. So next, uh, So next, uh, I will discuss about uh, starting a uh, concurrent uh, workflow from the command line. So now it's turn at you. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.